right, welcome back. Here we are. It is still day 132 from the last video. I flew back over here to our main base. Stopped by the tower there and dropped the electric relays, concrete, and some steel. We're in here real quick just to see and make sure this guy don't have a solar cell now or anything. Drop your weapons or drop your drawers. <laughs> drop your weapons. Drop your drawers. Where did that come from? I hadn't heard that one before. That's pretty crazy. Solar bank. No solar cell. Okay. Knife nice guy. He's got two of those? Okay. Take that. About the only way we're getting them these days is by buying them. That last Cracker Cafe was pretty good once we got the second round in there. Going, you had to go through it twice to make it good, unfortunately. Grenades. Time to move on. He don't have much we need, and where's his jobs? He's on tier six infesteds all the way around. And there are some close by, but we've already completed that for him, so. to get the other freighters leveled up, get them cleared on tier six on all of them. We're getting close on a few. Oh, almost forgot to check the water. You know they're full. Don't really need it at this point, but if we keep getting them here and there as we go, we won't ever go now. All right, let's see what we got here. Read these books, I guess. 73 of 75. Okay, good. Only two more of those, and we'll have that completed. That'll be nice. All right, put these here. We picked any of this stuff up at. We can go ahead and drop it off here. I remember meds was full, so we got to put these over here. Okay. Food. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat that instead of dropping it. Put that in the cell box, I guess. 10% run speed. Maybe we should. Is that better than what we have on is heat 24-3 cold resist. It has a little better cold resist than this one. But since we're not going to the snow biome very often, let's go ahead and take advantage of the 10 plus 10 run speed. keep that one for now just just because all right now let's see where we're at here this little bit of ammo here well, we definitely got some new law I don't know how much we got in the wasteland but here we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 250,000. We got a quarter million dukes. We can definitely afford two more solar cells if we need them. Be nice to get three and have a two onto the tower. I don't know what we left going on over here. Probably nothing, looks like. I think we left some spill cooking. Oh, we had uh, cement in this one. Uh, let's see, we got clay. 
Well, I need to get something else going here, too. Oh, yeah. That's right. We needed to make a bunch of concrete. We need small stone, cement, and crushed sand. Got the cement, got the sand, got the stones. Let's see where that gets up. Oh, there was some more cement in there. There we go. We'll grab it all. See how much we can make here. 2248. So we'll make some um, 1000 on this one. rest out on that one. And that's all the cement. Okay. Oil shell 53. Got tons of uh, steel already over there, I believe. Oh, wow, we got 28,000 stone in there. And how much more? Uh-oh, I took all the rock out. Oh, there. That's weird. Okay. Make 2,800 more. Just gotta keep enough fire going to keep it going. I don't know how long it's gonna take to make 2800. Oh, 42 minutes. There we go. Well, was not just looking down there? I don't know. Mystery of the universe. All right, let's see where we're at here. What should we make? Uh, we only have clay in there for the most part, so we got to cook something up here. Um, well, we're out of iron, so that uh, pretty much counts that out. We'll keep making some out. Now this is the one where you can't tell how long it's going to take. Or, yeah. It looks like about three seconds per or something like that. So if you, I guess you could figure it out if you wanted to. I don't want to. I'm just going to put a bunch on there and let it burn. If it don't finish, we'll put some more on later. That's how this works. At least when you don't worry about it. All right. And we'll be able to make a bunch of cement once that's cooked off. Might need to do more. Nope. Okay. Well, that'll get all that going. Oh, we should have brought those um, rad removers with us over there. It's always something, isn't it? We always forget something. Guess I could make one. Maybe. Yeah, we can just make one. I want to see if we'll be able to put one on. Those turrets over there. Hold on, I don't have to do that. To test that, we got turrets right here. Yeah, you cannot add mods on the turrets. That's what I thought. 
So, you add them on these, not on those. And I don't think there'd be a reason to add one onto a sledge. Yeah, no modify on that. Oh, hold on, modify. Oh, what can we put on there? Oh, we can put the... Take the level five one. And I believe we can put something like these fortifying, ergonomic. We need the stuff that makes them last longer, would be better. Shotgun tube extender. Structural brace. Here we go. Degradation 25%. That's probably the one we want on there. There we go. And what else could we put on there? I don't know what will go on there. I've never put that many mods on this stuff at all. I don't think it will let us put two grip mods on there. That don't make sense. I don't know. I don't think these blades. I'm just going to try some things and see if any of them go up on there at all. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, that'll go on. Okay, that's okay. That's giving us from 19 to 20. Oh, and that goes to 22. Decreases stamina usage by 10%. Handling when health is 50 below 50%, gain one hand. Okay, well, that might be better on um, these ones down here. Let's see. Oh, this one's already full. Oh no. Okay, never mind. This one. Okay, it only has one. Okay, let's say we're good with that. Assuming that's the turret we use on our tower over there. If not, I'll take the mods out of it and put it on the other. All right, we don't need the springs. And we don't need to be tracking that. All right, let's see here. What are we going to take over? We need uh, relays over at the tower. Oh, and already, oh, oh. I didn't realize we had this many over here. So we got this many over here and we got uh, about this many over in the desert. So we're good on relays. We got two dark traps, 12 dark traps. Okay. We're doing pretty good. Blade trap. Auto turret, shotgun turret, auto turret. We need to open this one. Yep, and then we'll have uh, more SMG turrets over there. Perfect. Although, we need more ammo than that to fill them up. We need six stacks to fill up two turrets. I don't know, though, are we going to put up two more turrets over there or just one? Guess we'll just uh, play it by ear. So we got the relays, we got the turrets. We got construction stuff already over there. I do believe we accidentally carried the nail gun out of there with us last time, so we'll take this one just to. Oh, we need to check on our stuff here. Um, what has happened? The batteries are all out of juice. So does that mean the whole time this thing wasn't charging? And they were just running off batteries until it ran out.
why is that? So the whole time was just running off the batteries. And the solar cell wasn't actually charging that thing. One cell, not enough? If so, oh, we definitely gotta go check the tower. We're gonna check it right now because we gotta take that crap out and put it in the generator. We gotta do it. And this wiring can be tricky. I don't know why it would do that. Why would it not be? Okay, turn on. Max output, 234. Oh yeah, look, the batteries are going down. They're not staying charged. Man, that's gonna go out in the middle of the frickin' horde night on us. Oh, I can't believe this. So we need to do something. I don't get it why the uh, why the solar cell's not charging like it should. Yep, I was right. We did take the nail gun out of here last time. Wow. Okay, where is it going from the solar cell down to this? Oh. Is that where we lost our connection? Yep. Is that what happened over at the tower too? Or do we have, okay. First, let's, let's get a relay. instead of messing up the wiring we already have. We're going to put a relay right there and go from that to the relay and the relay to the solar panel. And hopefully. What? Okay. Now can that not go here? Now. That kind of explains that one. Did the same thing happen over at the base? Now we just need to see these start charging. Oh man. That is the biggest pain is the power setup on this. It's probably just, I don't understand it good enough. I'm sure. Yep, it's not hooked up to the frickin' solar cell. I guess at some point. Okay, I guess I'll stick it over there. Keep it kind of separate from... Man. What? A thing. <laughs> it's 
So somewhere, I guess. Wow. Good. Output 30. Ooh. Output 2. There's my problem on this one. It's only outputting 30, and this thing's using up to 267. And I think this was over 30 right here by a lot. So. We definitely. Gotta get a generator going here. I don't know if we can hook up the generator and we're gonna have to probably do the same thing. Over at the tower. of those at once. two relays here or what but now this one won't hook up out here what in the world deal with this <laughs> you have to unhook all this Let's unhook this one. I'll hook that back to that. We'll hook this. output 100 output 51 okay that got us back online this one I guess I thought I understood how the generators worked or the solar cells worked and the whole time I kind of really didn't even worth fooling with or is it just better just to keep running generators and gassing them up what in the heck and now the solar panels not hooked again okay so that should be charging now I don't know. All right, let's give it now six. So hopefully that means it's charging these. Yep, there it goes. I wonder if it charges one at a time. Okay, well, we gotta go fix the freaking power now, man.
5 in the morning. We've got time. One thirty, day 133, so it's hard night tonight. Okay. We had a generator there and there. Guess we gotta put them back up. Got one there. Max output. Okay, if we turn it on, we're drawing 172. There you go. This is not putting out 172. This is putting out 27. There's our problem. Okay. So, to really use it like that, we gotta fill this. <laughs> we gotta fill all the solar cells in there at 60 something thousand dollars each. So that's not happening anytime soon. So we're gonna disconnect. Everything from this. We'll just have that connected up there. We gotta get our generator back in. We may have to go get another generator. I know we're going to need more than one engine on it. We may have to go back over and get another engine. Oh, we got a couple here. Put in only two for now. And now we got to get all this wiring redone. That I do not look forward to. What if we... I think we put one relay right here and run to it and then hook these two to it. Maybe that'll do it instead of the generator. So let's see here. Hook to that, to that, that, to that. There we go. And then that to that that's what we need and we'll do that to that and let it charge our stinking batteries now let's see what we got power output 100 we're doing the hundreds we need another motor in it We don't want to live on the edge there. Okay, whoa. Okay, it looks like we're gonna need more than... We're gonna need more, okay, power there. Power there, power there. No power there, power there. Three blade traps turning, two spotlights on. Oh, need to check the one up there. And no power there. We need more juice. Okay, we're close. Maybe it's not gonna be as much of a pain as I was thinking it would be. Oops, we should turn it off while we're gone. These burning gas. Close this door. Go get another motor or two. Okay, I guess live and learn. The solar cells were not putting out nearly enough power to keep things going. And when it was running, it was just running off the battery the whole time. Now this one, 
Okay, this one we got enough power. Hopefully we got some more motors here. Oh yeah, that is not an issue. We can go ahead and take three over there. Have enough to do what we need to do. And we got more generators. Got a bat we got an extra generator too. Let's take another generator and three more motors to the tower. How much gas do we got? We've used all our gas. Like we're going to have to go mine some shell again here pretty soon. All right, it's day 133, 710 in the morning. Well, first things first, let's get this tower squared away. We don't have to worry about tonight. Completely filled the gyrocopter with gas on the way back over here because we ran out. So it's full of gas. The 4x4 four four has only got... nine percent so okay max output 200 and we're using 173 so we're good there we will put um, put our extra motors here And should we put in another generator and then do some more towers over here? That is the question. We do one here. And one here. But if we're standing here to fight at all and there's a window there for a turret, they're going to look in at us and start spitting at it big time. And maybe on this one. Of course, I guess we can put a little wall here to block their sight like we did back there. And try that. I don't know how well that really works. Let's at least put in one more. Turret. Oh yeah, we're going to check on our sledge. Yeah, it's a level 5 we have here, so it's, we can just swap this out. Pair that one. Ah, let's just go ahead and leave this one here as a spare. And then we'll use that one that has the mods on it. We're not using it anywhere else other than the tower, so we might as well leave it here. So let's put another turret right here. And we'll get a 9mm turret in instead of a shotgun turret. A little bit less on ammo, I think, for those. Putting space in between them, I guess we could even just put them right next to each other. We could put two right there, I guess. I don't think we want them too close together because they'll be shooting at the same time and may waste bullets. Okay, if we're standing here, um, hopefully they won't look back at us and be able to see us through that window there. Possible. Okay, we shouldn't need that no more. We got one learning elixir over here. We're gonna need some blocks for we'll go out and build us a little tower out here. Probably don't need it, but uh, I believe we could just put one right there with no support under it. I guess we could always uh, make this wall solid up to there. Now, if we do that, they'll be wanting to jump on it from over here. Guess we could put one right here. Behind that door. I 
We could put one here behind the door, but not put a window. And when it runs out of ammo, just let it sit there. Or... We can step out the... As long as there's not zombies coming around there, we can always step out the door right here and put in a little temporary block and do it from there. Maybe. Hmm. Tough call. But if we get that many turrets in, or should we put in more back here instead of over there? Put one more on each of these corners. Pretty easy. If we did that, that would be plenty. Maybe we don't need this one right here. But I kind of like them spread out. That way it hits them, and then as they move on, it starts shooting another one, and then they're hitting the same one. We get them two, two concentrated together. They'll be shooting at the same time, sort of wasting ammo, I think. Gotta make sure we get a nail gun back over here. More than one. Need something as a backup. Don't got any other. Well, I guess if we had to, we could always just. Craft a stone axe, I don't... Stone axe, yeah, we don't need a workbench or anything for that. We, but we don't have plant fibers usually on us. And there's none in there. We probably should put some plant fibers in there. As a precautionary measure. any cobblestone. Nope. I'm going to put some of these in that chest in case I do something stupid and forget to bring the nail gun or anything. This horde night, and we don't want to jump down. We would be able to bit, make us a stone axe for repairs. You ever met somebody that says better safe than sorry? You just met them. I actually do that in real life, too. <laughs> Try to stay prepared for anything. Prepare in advance for any emergencies or things that could happen. I've been that way for a long time, but I guess that whole tongue flu thing that went around Made a lot of people start thinking that way when they couldn't get TP. Oh, look, the power truck. Oh, a battery and a wire tool. Okay, I think we've got enough grass to do with that. Man, there's one bright headlight on that truck. We're just going to leave that right here. We have our uh, loot case here for later. Let's see, where can we put these batteries? We'll put this battery here as an extra wire tool. All right. Uh, we need a. Should have kept those blocks. 
need a set of bars to go on here. Scaffolding. And then we're going to rotate it because we don't want them to be able to jump over there on it like that. Just uh, not like that, the other way. Like that. Okay. that back away and that and we gonna need some cobblestone and cement Let's do this at least the cement do okay two lower layers, lower levels to steel, just like we did the other ones. I don't think they're beat, beating on them down here any. Maybe got some cockpit going on. Thought I just picked up steel. Oh. Some reason I didn't pick up. Oh, Sarah. Wow. Did some damage there, didn't they? Something must have been, there must have been a pop, ex pop exploded right here. Close some, yep. Somewhere right here. One exploded. Did some damage on the ground, too. next to the wall and tower and stuff. Make sure it don't fall down. What happened to my steel I tried to pick up? Did it just go right there? I don't know what I did. Okay. That's more like it. Okay. Did go ahead and do some of this other stuff. There we go. Well, we have some damage on there too. Well, we got the steel now. Now we're just waiting for them to knock off these plates right here. So we can go to steel behind them. Most of this top wall done. Uh oh. Oh, we ran out. Alright, I guess we need to go ahead and get our towers put in anyway. Uh, there they are. Uh oh. I'll not do it through the window. Guess not. Guess we're going out. Uh, we're going to need blocks to pull up to them, probably. Man, that's right. 
Are you kidding me? Twelve o'clock. That don't work. We gotta go beat that out of there. I'll do it from here. This pickaxe will probably be faster. Yep. Well, let's see. Where was that airdrop? Let's get that marked. Got a visitor. a little faster. See if they're going to come up the tower and around and stab them in the face. This type of window is on the ones on the back where the pedestal on the outside was one lower. That's what that was all about. Yep, there she comes. Hey, lady. Sorry, I didn't give you time to walk around there and let me poke you in the face with my metal stick, my steel spear. I need to repair that machine gun right there. Where'd it go? Oh. Now how did that happen? Have we used that much ammo and I didn't realize it? That's weird. Oh, what is this? A freaking... That's a daggum uh, roaming horde or something. Man. Well. It's a better... Uh, And I was going to put up the turret, but uh, and there's another one. Yep, it's a roaming horde for sure. Got time for this. We got power work to do here, people. Well, I guess I removed uh, my blocks out of there for nothing. Up oh, more. Dang, there was a bunch of them. That was a pretty good sized little roaming horde right there. Wow. up here. They're only long. They're waddlers. Got time to wait on you guys. It's 145. Got business to take care of here. Let's see. All right. So now we need close the store just in case. We need a generator. 
And we'll just put this one opposite of that one up there. Go ahead and put a couple of motors in it. One's probably enough. Go ahead and refuel it up. And then we'll probably need a relay. We'll just put it right there. Then we need our wiring tool. And we'll wire that to that and that to that and that to that. Hey! Now we did get the one upstairs. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm scared now. Yeah, he's good. Hey, there I am. Uh-oh. Well, wow. okay, they work. Now we just need... Okay, let's go ahead and double check all these. I'm leery now that we had all these issues with the stinking cell. Everything's on. Yep, those are working. That's working. Okay. Now we just got to get these loaded. this one. Yep, we got a camera preview. All right. Did I lock the ammo? Yep. Let's see how our power usage is. 31 of 100. Mm -hmm. 31 of 50. That's good for that. Let's turn it off. Now we have two generators we have to turn on. We got a little gas extra there. Where did we put our... There they are. We got four extra motors. Put our wiring pliers there. We got plenty of relays now. Got more loot that we got off of that one zombie there. Relays there. Okay. Couldn't need the pickaxe no more. Nope. We do need those that, not the shovel. Okay. Oh, we need to build a. Uh, cage around that. Got to build a cage around those turrets. We'll go ahead and get this out. We don't have to worry about it. That's good. And build a cage. We probably need to go outside and pole vault up to it. I know it's not pole vault. things and we need to do an advance turn the bar is turned up like that and then we'll do
same thing here, there, and not that, there. which way those are turned. If they jump on top, they jump on top. Now we've got to get one on the front. Actually, we can probably do that from inside the tower. We need to get one on here. further apart than this one? Oh, those are two apart. This is one apart. Meaning it won't fit in there. Uh-oh. What are we going to do? I don't think anything will fit in there. It's not going to matter what you do. Nope. Well, I guess we leave that gun unprotected right there. Not much of an option without uh, completely redoing it. The chance that they're going to shoot it from back here is probably a little bit on the slim side anyway. As far as cop spit goes. Anyway. See if we can get this one on. The bars turn the other way so they can't. Oh. We need to do the advanced turn. Like that. Okay. The only thing is, that one's on its own. Unless there's no zombies over here and we can come out and do this. We have to put in the temporary block there for that. Alright, I guess we'll go ahead and turn these off. Hadn't used much fuel. Hold on, let's double check. 200 and 173, good. This one, 50 and 31, good. Uh oh. Didn't see that. Food and ammo. Yep, they're coming down through the wall there. They're going to they spit at it. Going to be okay. You know what I didn't do was upgrade those. They're still frames. That's no good. Well, this one only needs three upgraded. We'll see how that goes, I guess. And I guess I can try to reach the other one from the wall. I don't know if I can reach it. Hopefully so. Nice. 
Okay, so only thing we got is that one's unprotected from here. So if they're coming down through here. It's going to shoot them. They might turn the spit out of here. The fact that, I uh, guess they could turn the spit this way, back that way at it, but I think we'll just kind of play it by ear and see how that how that works. All right, what do we got here? 5.30, day 133. Got two more turrets in, kind of. Not the greatest setup. Not like I would have wanted it to be. Yeah, these are two apart, so that worked. Hmm, well. Oh, you know what? I didn't think about that. We can put a... Uh, put a piece of cross between both of them, all the way across. And that'll do it. So we'll do that, maybe. But we're at one hour and one minute on this video. We'll go ahead and end this one here. And I will do those upgrades I just spoke of. Put a try to put a grade across the entire front of it there, and that might protect them. That might be good enough. And we'll see how that goes. And um, on the next video, we'll just do Horde Night. So I'll be back in a couple hours on the next video, and we'll do Horde Night and see how this works out for us. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you then.